Hi there, my name is Adina, and in this video, I'm going to show you the very basics of how to use ARC in just a couple of minutes. There is so much more to using ARC than what I'm going to share, so please explore after I'm done, but this should get you through most of the basics for getting started. So I will start by directing you to this sidebar here. Um, this is ARC. Everything in ARC happens here on the left-hand side. And one of the things you'll notice right off the bat is that there's a horizontal line here that separates out pinned tabs, which are up here at the top, and unpinned tabs, which are down here below. By default, new tabs open up down here in the unpinned tabs section. If you want to pin a tab, you can just drag it up here to the top. Pin tabs are the tabs that are important to us. So the tabs that we want top of mind, they're things like apps we visit often, and then kind of the long tail of articles we might want to read or things we want to easily get back to. It's really nice that unpinned tabs are separated because that way, as you're opening up tabs throughout the day, they go down here and they're not in the way of the tabs that you care about and want most easily accessible. By default also, unpinned tabs will auto archive at the cadence of your choice. And by default, this is every 12 hours. So when you wake up in the morning, all of your unpinned tabs down here will be archived and you'll be reset back to just the tabs that you care about most. You might notice if you look closely that there's this title in this space called work. In ARC, you have multiple spaces and you can create them for different contexts of your life. For example, work, personal, or a hobby. These icons down here correspond to different spaces. So if I click on personal, for example, I will jump to my personal space. You can also use two fingers and swipe between spaces easily as well. You might notice while I'm swiping that the tabs up here do not swap out when I move my space. These are favorites. Favorites stick around regardless of what space you're in. So they're the tabs that you might use regardless of what you're working on, like Spotify or your email or your calendar. You can just as easily drag tabs into favorites as well. Everything you've just seen me do with my mouse, you can also do with your keyboard. So in Arc Command, T, which is how we actually open up a new tab, is also how you perform action. So if I start typing pin, for example, I can pin this tab up to the top of my sidebar. You can also do things like open up preferences or remap shortcuts and all of that through this menu as well. If you have any questions about anything we've just talked about, just type questions in command T and you'll be able to send a message to my team. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good day.